Good day, guys. Welcome to a new welcome to our new weekly forecast. Um, I'm recording this on February 21st. Keep in mind that today is um, it's a holiday. Therefore, the market has moved a little bit slow today. That's why I only got this nine instruments. All right. So let's start with KiwiCat. Basically, what's going on with Kiwi Cat is that it's uh, creating this um, uptrend in the four hour. See how the highs have been taken out. And we also have this bullish momentum trend line. The current price is very far from the, um, the bullish trend line. Therefore, we have momentum at the moment in the four hour time frame. So here's the thing. Right now, the market is getting close to this daily supply area. All right. It's getting close to this daily supply area. Why do I think this daily supply area will not hold? Because we have inefficiencies, we have imbalances up there that might get, you know, might get fulfilled by the price. So I believe, I believe this daily supply level will not hold so i will not be looking for short opportunities at the moment we also have some supply levels below here which didn't work either so what i'm doing is what i'm doing is once price removes or once if price removes this daily supply this daily supply level i will be looking for buy positions where will be my buy position here right here why this is a two hour level all right this is a two hour auto block so this is the auto block responsible of taking out this daily supply level that's why i got this line and i'm gonna place an alert right there something like that that's enough for me so once this uh, daily supply level is removed by a few pips, I will be monitoring any retracement, all right, any retracement for buy positions. All right, so that's the analysis on NCD CAT. Um, I will be looking for buys because we have momentum in, uh, in the four hour time frame, in the one hour time frame. And if this daily supply uh don't work that will be a much better signal a much better buy signal the next one is euro aussie what's going on with euro aussie pretty much the same stuff all right if we see a structure see we have here some sell side liquidity if we see a structure we see that the daily levels the daily uh lows simply didn't hold didn't work see they were removed now they are removing this one this daily level here, this daily low, oops, simply is not working. All right. If we check supply and demand order flow, see that this is a huge demand level on the daily time frame, but huge uh, departure, very nice uh, imbalance, but simply didn't hold. All right, so basically we have more sellers than buyers at the moment. When I go to the four hour time frame, okay, here is getting, here is where things get interesting. Okay, there is. When I go to the four hour time frame, we could mark this whole area as a four hour order block, but you know, it's very big i mean i'm not gonna send or i'm not placing a sell signal i'm not placing a sell order i'm sorry and using 73 pips of stop loss i don't do that i don't work like i don't trade like that but when i go to the two hour time frame we have this supply level here we have this supply level and we have another supply level here in the one hour time frame so this is the one this is the one that you know i will be monitoring because it has a strong departure very strong departure to the downside is the level responsible of breaking the low and probably the market will try to you know reach this area or close to this area so i'm looking for short positions at the moment 
probably using this order block and if this one doesn't work I'll look for another short position up there right at right at the extreme of the level next one is dollar franc again uh, I'm a trend trader guys so I don't look for uh, reversals you won't get that from me <laughs> I, I like trade with the trend we have this level getting removed huge momentum candle um, see that this high I mean the market was not able to push the price higher in order to create a new higher high in fact it uh, it did the other way around we have a new higher low so when we see the daily structure when we see the daily structure we are currently in a downtrend price consolidated quite some time here and then boom started to reverse daily levels didn't work we have another daily level here I'm, I'm sorry four hour demand level that didn't work either because we are in a downtrend at the moment so when I check the daily uh, the daily time frame or um, I, I don't remember if it was the daily or the eight hour or the six oh there is the six hour okay the six hour time frame is telling me that here we have a supply level all right so what I'm doing is I'm monitoring any retracement to this area all right any retracement to uh, here any retracement to this area any break of a structure in lower time frames is good for me to take a sell all right where are we going on the daily time frame well probably the market will try to probably destroy this whole support area we have a support level here right there so here's where market it's going see that we still have some imbalances some imbalances here so in the long term probably the dollar will continue going down now let's check dollar yen dollar yen looks pretty clean at the moment daily um, daily looks the daily um, time frame looks bearish as this daily daily demand level simply did not work just give a couple of gave a couple of pips but then it returned removing the whole level and market was not able to uh, you know push the price higher we had some equal um, equal highs here but they were not taken out and by reading the by reading the order flow we have bearish order flow at the moment on the daily time frame now when we check the four hour time frame pretty much it's the same stuff we have we have this lows being taken out and this daily level all right we have a daily level here but we also have a nested level okay we have this one hour order block there market is just retracing but it's creating it's uh, living in a um, it's living um, liquidity all right we have this trend line so we have enough liquidity up here above the trend line so I'm waiting for a retracement to this area so we can short all right if market retraces then I'll be looking for short positions right here now gold gold pretty clean as well daily time frame is completely bullish we have a CP level I mean demand level which breaks the high and the market will try to break this other high here okay uh, when we see the daily time frame that's the trend when we see the four hour time frame looks pretty much the same thing all right we have a uh, we call this uh, valley if you trade supply and demand you may know this as a valley pattern so we have a valley pattern here and these are the strongest areas for you to place positions if you have a valley you can look for um, buy positions right at the area and they are higher probability trades so I'm looking for a buy position in the one hour time frame we have this scandal this nested demand level in the area the market has created some inefficiencies here some imbalances so I'll be waiting for the price to fill those inefficiencies and then and then look for buy positions right here 
cat yen cat yen looks pretty um pretty similar as dollar yen pretty much the same stuff all right pretty much the same stuff on the daily time frame you see the market consolidated and then it uh reversed then market retraced and it reversed again okay when we see the four hour time frame we have higher high i'm sorry higher low higher low higher low higher low now we have this four hour order block okay we have this four hour order block but we also have this one hour order block this one right here so both levels are good for us to take short positions you can look for confirmations if you want and keep in mind that um when we when we take valleys for buy positions or when we take peaks for sell positions this is a peak all right peak pattern when we take those uh, those areas for short or buy, we get higher probabilities. Now let's check Bitcoin. I'm looking to short Bitcoin again. Uh, the structure is already bearish. We have a higher high, then a higher low. Then this low was uh, taken out also. This demand level was taken out. The price is failing this imbalance but we still have some liquidity below this trend line all right and below this low this is our sell side liquidity now in the four hour mark in the four hour time frame uh, actually the daily time frame let me show you the daily time frame we have basically a demand level i'm sorry supply level right here okay i'm taking this candle because the week is a little bit higher so when I check the four hour time frame, I will mark this candle, which is the highest level of the supply level. And I will be looking for sell positions if price retraces to this area. All right. I'm looking to short from here to the 32K support. Then we have Euro NCD same order flow bearish order flow we have this demand level taken out the four hour level is completely bearish those lows were taken out we have a support level right here and we have this imbalance that will be failed probably will probably be failed all right now when we see the one hour time frame when we check the one hour time frame right here we have a some weird um supply area uh doesn't look that clean but when we check i think the daily time frame or the 12 hour time frame uh, i don't remember which one oh there it is when we check the eight hour time frame here is the auto block so i just try to take the highest um candle which is this one right here okay so uh, we have to keep in mind uh, some other uh, aspects like the timing, which is very important. I mean, you won't you won't place a trade during the rollover session. This is probably happening during the rollover, therefore will be invalidated. Uh, you don't want to place a trade uh, if we have some uh, employment um, reports coming out. And stuff like that. I mean, we have to uh, be we have to be very careful with with the timing, and that's why we have to use the session. So let's say the market uh, retraces a little bit, and then this will probably retrace during the London session. Well, that's higher probability than I can take it. But if but if I place a sell limit, let's say right here, but this will be uh, feel during the rollover session for sure you will get a loss and that's unnecessary losses that you can avoid then we have the last one which is cat frank cat frank i'm looking for sell positions again we have a four hour supply level here and we have a one hour supply level there and this other level up here so any retracement i will be looking for short positions and also on the daily time frame, we are completely bearish. See how the market it's almost or it's about to remove this daily level. Why is 
removing it. Why this level is not responding? Because we are in a bearish mode already. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, keep in mind that today is holiday, so try to um, risk less on your trades. And that's the reason why the market also has been moving a little bit slow. But yeah, if you want to follow up on our trades, if you want to follow up on our and on on our setups, you can join our Discord. I will drop the link in the description. And if you like this video, subscribe and like our um, YouTube channel. Keep in mind that we'll post a uh, weekly forecast every Monday. So I'll see you with another forecast next week. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice week. Bye-bye.